So, the bulk of what makes The Last of Us great is the story. And it is probably what has made the game sell all the 17 million copies it has in the 5 years since release. But there is another, very underrated aspect of The Last of Us. Hey everyone, my name is the iPad Cat, and in today's video we're not discussing or speculating on the lore or the story. No. Today it's all about the multiplayer. What do I want to see? What can we expect to see? And what's to improve upon from the last game? But enough of this, let's get right into it. First off, what was so great about the first game's multiplayer? Well, to summarize it, it retained so much of the survival feel with limited resources and all that from the campaign. It didn't feel like a rushed, tacked-on bonus gimmick made only for microtransactions, although <clears throat> there was plenty of that. The gameplay required strategy and teamwork. I don't know how many times I, and I'm like level 180 or something, and my friend who's like level 30, have gone up against teams with players who outlevel us literally almost tenfold, and we've still won because we're coordinated and they're not. The maps. The maps are literally some of the best in gaming as a whole. They're not the mix of emptiness and clusterfucks that Battlefield has, and not the copy-pasteness of the three-lane maps in Call of Duty. They're diverse, and even though they had to be designed with gameplay in mind, don't feel all that gamey. Some of them feel very real, like the levels in the story, like for example Financial Plaza. While I expect all of this to return in some shape or form in The Last of Us Part 2's multiplayer, how can they improve upon it? Well, firstly they should fix a lot of stuff, like being randomly kicked out of games or lobbies. And please get rid of the peer-to-peer -peer system and have dedicated servers instead. Matchmaking could also use a touch-up. Whenever you matchmake now, although to be fair, this is probably due to not that many people playing the game, but nevertheless, when you matchmake now, levels are almost never taken into account. Sometimes, I get put into lobbies where there's only people several dozens of levels below me, and sometimes it's the opposite. Though, like I said, this could be a people playing the game issue as much as it could be the game itself. Then, the gameplay itself needs to be extensively tested to prevent people abusing glitches and bugs. But then, when they've fixed that, I think they should continue to build upon the amazing groundwork they laid in part 1. I want more replayability. In the first game we had the weapons upgrade system, where the parts you gathered from supply boxes and actions like downing enemies and reviving teammates could be used for upgrading weapons. But there weren't that many trade-offs, so every match pretty much went the same way when it came to upgrading weapons. What if there were different paths on every weapon you could go down, which locked the other ones when you picked one? They could be things like range or more damage up close or anything. That would allow for a more varied gameplay from match to match, as well as allowing us to tailor our gameplay to the map slash environment. And what if trait upgrades from the campaign were brought into multiplayer? It could work by having a limited amount of pills available in supply boxes, every match, which would force you to choose your playstyle for that game, and this could allow us, like with the weapons, to adapt to the environment. And the maps, what if destructibility from the campaign goes into multiplayer? It wouldn't feel very The Last of Us to have entire buildings fall apart, but maybe things like destroying cover, like those cement blockades that got shot up in the E3 gameplay. Destruction in a minor way. The Last of Us Part 1 multiplayer already had bullet penetration on many, many spots. So what if in Part 2, instead of just clipping through the objects, they are gradually destroyed? I also think some modes could allow for 5-man teams instead of 4, for a more intense experience. But speaking of modes, that was something The Last of Us Part 1 was short on. It had only 3 modes, of which there were really only 1 people played. Supply Raid, the basic team deathmatch mode. Then there was Survivors, which was basically Supply Raid but you only had one life, 
and then there was interrogation, which was the only objective-based game mode, in which you had to interrogate enemies to then capture their safe with supplies. Pretty basic stuff, but fun. I hope we get more modes in part 1. One commenter on one of my previous videos, Nivan Age, sorry if I butchered that, suggested that there could be a mode similar to Rainbow Six Siege hostage game mode. One team would basically be playing the cult and the other, well, some other faction, would try to rescue the hostage before the cultists perform their execution ritual. That could be interesting. Speaking of factions, I'd like to see more factions to choose from in part 2. In part 1, there was the Fireflies and the Hunters, and surprisingly not the military. If there is a force to be reckoned with in post-apocalypse America, it is definitely the military. So if any faction is to be added, it's them. Then of course, the Seraphites slash cultists have to be in it, since they seem to be a pretty major player in part 2. What would be cool is if the faction of choice wasn't just visual, like in the first game. Rather, continuing with the theme of trade-offs and replayability, what if each faction all had specific bonuses and drawbacks? That would definitely be interesting, but probably extremely hard to balance. But those are just some things I'd like to see. Now what can we actually expect to see? Well, if we want hints of how The Last of Us Part 2's multiplayer could work, we don't have to look further than Uncharted 4. They changed a lot of things up from previous Naughty Dog titles there. No season pass which meant all maps and weapons were free. Unlike <clears throat> The Last of Us. But it also meant there was the possibility to purchase Uncharted points for real money, to earn cosmetics and I even think weapons faster. But not more than that. And if it is like that, I'm honestly okay with it. Some of the add-on weapons and abilities in The Last of Us were just ridiculous. And if everyone being on an even playing field means some people who choose to pay will have access to some items faster, I'm okay with it. Uncharted 4 was also like a more service-based game. I'll admit, I haven't played it a lot, so I can't go much into detail on it. But from what I've gathered, every other month or so, new maps and weapons, and sometimes even modes, were released. So that would definitely be cool if it transitioned over into The Last of Us Part 2. And who could forget survival co-op? Naughty Dog added an entire co-op mode to Uncharted 4. This would be awesome if it made it into The Last of Us Part 2. But I already made a video dedicated to co-op, which you can watch here. Anyways, those are just some things I want to see and what I expect to see in The Last of Us Part 2 multiplayer. What do you think? Is there anything in particular you'd like to be added or improved upon? Tell me in the comments down below and let's discuss it. And until next time, have a great day.